Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have been continuing to test the Kasei first stage recovery. I did it during a live stream and we've made some tweaks and then I continued to test it further because I had to make more tweaks. In particular, we've had to add heat shielding to the fairing. As it turns out that if we really want to go all the way from Tampico to our recovery location in the Bahamas, uh, it has to be going faster and we saw in the previous video that it was already getting a little bit overheated on the fairing. Actually getting to the Bahamas means that it has to be going faster and therefore we need heat shielding. I have added more mass to it as a result by about 1.5 tons and so yeah, uh, that should be at least the tile amount. Uh, we would assume the tile tiles would be covering the actual body of it instead of having a separate aluminum frame uh, and it would only be the bottom fairing. I've also fixed the fairing animation issue by not having the deploy limit at all. Basically, uh, and Pekka suggested this, I just extended the animation so that it gave enough time for the upper stage to separate and then it would close up. So. It does that all automatically. I have written the KOS script especially to handle all this, except for the descent. The descent of the first stage we will use Smart ASS for, but the ascent, including the continuation of the payload to orbit, is KOS. Though we are not following it this time, we will just follow the core to its landing in the Bahamas. And we will check that there's enough delta V in the upper stage to deliver the payload. And the payload, I think I've got at 100 tons right now, just to be safe. It doesn't really show there. But, uh, well, if you work out how much avgas it is, I think it's 100 tons. So, uh, run, let's say, 3-0, 3 uh, And that's because we've got three boosters. And up we go. Launching from our site at Tampico. And we're through the clouds and past the speed of sound. This ends up having to go faster in order to get to the Bahamas than the Orion carrier plane does. And that's because this isn't as aerodynamic as the Orion carrier plane. Uh, it's more of a blunt object than that, so that one glides a little bit better and so it doesn't need as much speed but this one needs a little bit more okay and coming up on booster step sep, and booster separation off the three go and the whole thing rolls I started doing that and now it does it as part of the KOS script okay finishing up the roll and we are getting ready to do our thing. Uh, so the engines will shut down and then the fairing has to do its complicated deal and then the separation. So about 200 kilometers is what we aim for. There the fairing goes, there the stage goes, and as you can see it's got 4,200 and we were 4,200. Sum it up that's 8,400. So that gives enough extra I think to get to orbit. Uh, it's already got a decent apoapsis. So it doesn't have to go up that much more. I think it's safe to say that it will be all right with the 100 ton payload and maybe we can put some more. We'll see how well we get to the Bahamas. I have not managed to land at the Bahamas yet. So I'm bringing this to you because I think we can make it uh, after the latest tweaks that I've done, but we have not landed there. Okay, KOS is gone, and the stage is not really going to get to orbit, but in principle. I wish it could. I wish uh, with KOS in control of it, it would just do its thing and continue, but render range is render range. The physics range extender does not extend that far. And this is the view as we start slamming into the atmosphere, Florida in sight there, and the Bahamas, our landing location is right there. Always important to be able to see your landing site if you intend to reach it. 
you know, if you don't have any engine power, which we do not have. We do not have any jet engines here. If you have engine power, then it's okay if you can't see it. But if you don't have engine power, it's nice to be able to see your landing site. Okay, the rough part of it beginning here. We're past 1G, using a lot of pitch. Actually, our canards are basically just turned into the airflow. And heating. I didn't put more heat tolerance than I thought was necessary. So that bounce will lead us to an apoapsis of 61 km, well, maybe a little bit more than 61 kilometers. And I will adjust our pitch to 24 for now. I don't know if that's a good number or not, but it's so that we don't stall on the next bounce. Okay, here we come in again. And again, we're trying to land right around here-ish. We're nominal up there with far. That's good. Max G's 12.6 though. Well, hopefully the Bahamas scenery will show up at some point, and the runway for that matter. The Bahamas scenery isn't like the Tampico scenery, it's not a city yet. It's a, that the uh, Tampico scenery is a PQS city, it's configured differently. The Bahamas scenery is still a Kerbal Constructs thing. Well, switching to atmospheric autopilot. Should be visible from like more than 100 km. oh there we go, more than 100 kilometers, there's the runway. But uh, no, this takes its own time. It looks like it's a little bit low. I'll fix it when we do the PQS conversion, turn it into a scenery similar to the other ones. Okay, but well, we're going to have to do a loop in. Generally, it's better to come in faster than slower because, well, slower means you don't even get to the runway, but still. I would like to make sure we actually burn off enough speed by the time we get in. We're losing a lot of speed just turning here though. Oh, somebody's over there. And do a perfect turn. That's for sure. Uh, we're losing speed very, very quickly. And using a lot of pitch. Oh, shucks. Uh, we can't. Uh, I don't think we can make it to the runway. I won't be able to pull up. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, maybe small... Okay, it's gone all crazy again. It does this sometimes. Okay, maybe small jet engine. Oh, obviously, if I had a little bit more practice. Okay, this is going. Okay, this is, this is too much. Um, yeah, I'll need a little bit more practice in order to land it. It looks like it needs a landing speed much higher than what I was hoping for. Uh, that might be because of the way the fairing is with its colliders and all. I don't know how far is dealing with the fairing at all, but. Uh, well, the rest of the flight seemed all right. We just need to land at a much higher speed or add more wing, of course. But anyway, we got close. 
and progress has been made so i hope you don't mind if i uh, produced another video about the kasei rocket first stage so quickly but i've been working on it quite a lot so i thought i should report my results anyway with this situation being what it is i'll say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time